Video games are meant to bring people together. That said, not every title shines brightest in front of an audience. These are just a few of the weirdest, wackiest, and let's be honest, most wonderful games you should never play in front of your significant other. There are many games out there about spanking. There are fewer that are marketed as family-friendly and that are designed to be played in a public place. And as far as we know, there's only one that has a fully three-dimensional jeans-clad butt peripheral attached to it, along with a plastic hand that you're supposed to use to poke that plastic right between the cheeks. That game is Boonga Boonga, and if you want to play it, you'll need to travel to Japan. There, the game makes a little more sense, but just a little. Boonga Boonga is a digital recreation of a childhood prank in which little kids jets and finger guns at people's rears while shouting, Concho! It's still an odd product, however. When you fire up Boonga Boonga, you choose to torment one of eight digital victims, who make faces while you play. None of them seem to particularly enjoy the experience. So why would your partner mind? Well, if indulging in a little synthetic butt poking for fun doesn't weird them out, Boonga Boonga's character roster probably will. While Boonga Boonga's con man probably deserves to be smacked on the caboose, it's harder to make that argument for the ex-girlfriend, the ex-boyfriend, and the mother-in-law characters. Choosing one of them sends a weird message, and it's probably better if you avoid tormenting those characters when your SO is in view. Emily is Away 2 is an interactive fiction story structured like a series of conversations on the late AOL Instant Messenger. So it's safe to say that Emily is Away 2 is a distinctively retro vibe. If you only catch a quick glimpse of the game, it also looks remarkably like you're just flirting with teenage hotties online. Napoleon, don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Sure, you might know that Evelyn and Emily, the two high school girls you'll befriend in Emily is Away 2, are really just collections of ones and zeros, but the game's interface is so convincing that it's easy to imagine passers-by getting the wrong idea. It'll get even worse if your SO likes to snoop. Emily is Away 2 starts as a nostalgia-tinged romance, but the game gradually makes it very, very hard to be a good person. At one point, you'll have to abandon at least one of the girls in the middle of a crisis. Those light-hearted conversations about music and movies end up being more than larks, and if you're not very careful and entirely honest, the girls will call you out on your bullpucky. That's better than the first game, which makes players complicit in an applied assault, but most Emily is Away 2 playthroughs still end with you being a grade A jerk. Cheating and a nice cold heart? Not a good look. Atlas's mature puzzler Catherine is an excellent underrated gem that sees his protagonist Vincent are dealing with some very surreal, romantic problems. By day, he struggles to wrap his head around the demands of his increasingly marriage-minded girlfriend, Catherine with a K, who pokes and prods him about his commitment, or lack thereof. By night, he grows ram horns in his nightmares as he tries to escape gruesome monsters, at least when he's not fostering a salacious affair with another woman, the coincidentally named Catherine with a C. It's wacky, sensual, and frequently disturbing as hell, especially when Vincent's nightmares start reflecting the reluctant protagonist's sexual urges and regrets. That's how we end up with, well, uh, well. What is it this time? The game doesn't stop there. It even starts to periodically ask you some rather personal questions about your views on intimacy, marriage, and more. Is marriage the point where life begins or ends? Pull the rope with the answer that best matches your true feelings. If you thought that you were safe from the prying eyes of your partner, think again. Your playthrough of Catherine might be over, but you'll be seduced all over again when Catherine Full Body, a remastered version of the game, complete with a new character, Rin, and additional story content, hits the PlayStation 4 on September 13th, 2019. It's a tale as old as time. Boy meets girl, boy and girl fall in love, boy and girl mess around, girl gets pregnant, and then boy performs invasive surgery on her to get the baby out. But, you know, the fun kind of invasive surgery. In the real world, C-sections are a common medical procedure. They've saved many lives, but they're not exactly a good time. In the video game world, they are. As it turns out, there's an entire drama of mobile games out there, many of which look like they're targeted at children, that let you use your phone's touchscreen to perform C-sections on pregnant women. While some of these games are relatively harmless, like the one that extracts a baby via a magic wand, others are much more realistic and pretty damn unsettling. And it gets weirder. Oh boy does it get weirder. Have you ever dreamed of cutting open a hybrid dog human and removing a cartoony puppy offspring? You can. What about performing a C-section on Elsa from Frozen? Sure, go for it. Look, there are plenty of fun games about performing surgery out there, Surgeon Simulator, Trauma Center, and Two Point Hospital all fit the bill, but if your idea of a good time is cutting open pregnant women, maybe keep it to yourself. That's not sexy, it is terrifying. 
Bet you weren't expecting this one, but alas, Mario is actually relationship poison. He ruined Bowser and Peach's wedding, he finally let couples platform together in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but didn't make the actual levels any bigger, leading to one of the most chaotic experiences in modern gaming. We don't have any concrete evidence, but we'd be shocked if at least one relationship wasn't ruined by a round of Mario Kart and a few well-timed blue shells. If you really want to make your partner mad, however, invite them to join a game of Mario Party. Any of them will do. The Mario Party franchise presents itself like a fun, minigame-driven board game that rewards you for quick thinking and snappy reaction times. Don't be fooled, between the dice rolls, the unexpected star giveaways, and the occasionally imbalanced minigames, Mario Party thrives on randomness, adding the ability to steal other people's hard-earned stars, which totally screws them over, and you can guarantee you'll find yourself in a top-tier notebook-level blowout fight. Now I hate you, you well, slow bastard! You. If you leave here, I hate you! you what hey, you I haven't paid any here. attention to anything that's been happening I guess not. I think I must have misread all of those signals. Yeah, I guess you did. In other words, if you and your partner are going to throw a party on the reg, make sure to invest in a comfortable couch. Chances are one of you is going to be sleeping there very, very often. In Shelter, you have one goal. You've got a litter of kids under your charge, and it's up to you to make sure they reach adulthood. Easy, right? Where's Jason? He was here a second ago. I caught him in a balloon. I turned around and he just disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean, disappeared? Stay here. I'll go get him. I'll be right back. If you've spent any time around children, you know it's not, especially when everything in the wilderness is doing its best to kill you and your offspring. Hunger is your biggest foe. You need to gather or kill anything that your kids eat, but you'll also have to fend off birds of prey, survive deadly obstacles like river crossings and wildfires, and find, well, shelter to shield your family from the elements. Oh, also, you're all badgers, but as Eurogamer observes, that's not really important. Shelter is all about raising kids and watching them die. It's heartbreaking and also makes makes a terrible argument for your parenting skills. Maybe kids aren't in your future, but if they are, don't let your partner catch you failing at this one. It's sure to give them second thoughts. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more SVG videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.